And in today's video, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all, um, normally what I do when I do a talking video is I just share a couple of things that's going on in my life and give you guys updates. So now, the first thing that I want to say is I hope you all are having a great Friday today. I hope you're having a good day with God on your side. So now, I do want to talk about yesterday. Yesterday, Jeannie Young was supposed to go live and I was totally sick. So at 12 o'clock p.m., I decided that I had to cancel my live. So now what we're going to do is today we're going to make up for that. So what we're going to be doing today, this evening, September 23rd, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Jeannie Young is going live, and we are making uh, steak and baked potatoes. If you would like to cook along with me, you make sure you go to the community post. And in the community post, you will see all of the ingredients posted of the ingredients that you're going to need. Now, if you want to make like a fresh salad to go along with your steak and potato, that would be great. Just pick up those ingredients. So we're going to have so much fun. Listen, and even if you're not cooking along with me today, you can still come to the live. We're going to chit chat. We're going to have so much fun. You don't want to miss it. Okay. So now I want to talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, September the 24th, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Gina Young is going live again, and we're going to be making homemade meatball subs. Who doesn't love a good old meatball sub? Here at the Young's house, we love them. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make meatballs that are delicious. And this meatball recipe that I have, you can use it to put these meatballs on top of spaghetti if you like, or you can use the same recipe for meatball subs, okay? So that will happen tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So the reason why I had to cancel my live yesterday, I, well, let, let's just put it this way. My husband asked me early in the morning, he said, baby, are you hungry? I said, I'm starving. And I never, ever eat McDonald's for breakfast. I frankly don't like their breakfast right so but the first time i turn around and say yeah you know what go ahead and get me an egg sausage egg and cheese mcmuffin with a hash brown i ate that baby and it was so good well after i ate i went back to bed laid down and i woke up sick as a dog i'm telling you i know it was the mcdonald's it was definitely the McDonald's. It was coming out this way and the other way. And I was just, I was a mess until nighttime. But I'm, I feel great now, praise God. So now I'm sitting here in front of a different fish tank and there are no fish there. I think my husband is going totally nuts over the fish right now. My husband is in love with these fish tanks. And honestly, it's kind of fun. It's relaxing, it's kind of fun. So we have the really big, you know, the really big fish tank, you know, in another part of the house. And then we have this one here. Um, this one here is gonna hold fish that have a little bit more of aggression. Because in our big, big, big tank that we have, we got one, and I believe he's called an African Mubona. Listen, I could be saying the name totally wrong, but he's the cutest thing, right? He's uh, blue, he's white, and he has like black stripes on him, and he's so stinking cute, but guess what? He's one of the meanest things in the tank. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take him out of that tank, put him in this tank with fish that are uh, more aggressive. You know, we don't want him to stress out any of those beautiful African cichlids that we have in that other tank okay so we're going to take him out and put him in a, a different environment where all the other fish are more like his speed okay so that's what's going to go here and we're going to be able to get three fish tomorrow we've ordered the fish and then they got to get shipped in from wherever they come from and so we'll be able to put three in and then i think like a week and a half later we're going to put others in this tank so that'll be exciting and i'll, I'll keep you guys updated on the fish on both of the fish tanks and how things are going and and it's really a learning process it's a learning process and you just have to take as many notes you know like and and just learn all you can so that they can live happy 
and healthy and, you know, like, like whoever knew that you have to like buy bacteria to keep them healthy. You know, like we have like these huge bottles of bacteria that we put into our tanks just to keep them up and going and healthy and things like that. Like, I don't, I, like, I don't know. You let me know in the comment section. When I was a kid, you just put a fish in a fish tank and they lived. <laughs> well, that's not the case, I guess, now, nowadays. <laughs> so now I want to talk about my hemo hemoglobin. If I hope, hopefully I'm saying it right. Uh, that number went up. I don't know if it's the iron or the hemoglobin. Um, it went up from 7.5 to 9.5. So we are moving in the right direction. And I'm so grateful. We're not moving backwards. We are moving forward. But if you ask me right now, how's my energy? I have zero energy. I have zero energy today, but they told me just, just relax and wait on it. It's coming. And I know that if I wait with God on my side, it's definitely coming. I just have to be patient. I have to pace myself and know that, like, like, um, I just, like, well, how do I want to say it? I just got to be patient. I've already said that. I just got to be patient, you know, because I feel like I want the energy right now. <laughs> you know, but you got to wait for that iron to get through your system. And then I had another test result come back where I did like this three day, um, this three day thing. And then I had to mail it in and they checked that and they said everything came back good. I was kind of worried about that, but they said that one came back good. So that makes me very, very excited. So now we got like four more weeks. And then we're going to do all of the tests or all of the blood work all over again. And we'll see where that number goes. Hopefully that number can get like 12 or above, you know. And like I said, last March it was 11.5. So I would be grateful that it was 11.5. But I, heck, I want it to go higher. So now tell me this. Are you guys getting fall weather yet? Let me know where you live at and if you're seeing fall weather yet. If the, um, have the leaves started falling where you live at? I, I'm just curious because uh, honestly, not much leaves have begun to fall, but we are getting some chilly days, some chilly days here and it's kind of getting excited. So I am totally, totally, really loving my new microphones and um, I hope you all are enjoying the microphones as well especially when I go to do the live session because I had like everybody and their aunties and everybody that they know complaining that there was such a big echo in the kitchen well problem solved but you guys let me know let me know how you feel about the sound when we go live and even during the videos, um, I, I'd love to hear how you all feel about the sound now. I have a concern. I have a concern. Let's, okay, listen, what I'm about to talk about is nothing new. This has been happening my whole life. But what I've noticed is this has been happening a whole lot. Is there anybody out there? I know, I know you're out there. I know you're out there. You just have to tell me that. This happens to you too. Well, turn, come to turn around, and every time I'm asleep, I'm asleep, and I bite my tongue, and I bite my tongue really hard, and it hurts, and I wake up, and I just have like the sorest tongue. It's always on the same side. This didn't start happening after I had the braces. This has always been going on, but I'm seeing it happen a whole, whole lot. Somebody tell me. What could be happening? I feel like once I get really into my sleep, I bite down on my tongue and it hurts. I mean, it's like I'm chomping down on something. I'm chomping down on my tongue. And my next thing I have to say, I have the right to believe Dakota is sleepwalking. I do, we're gonna talk about it during the live, guys. He got up at two in the morning, up, he's dressed. And I'm like, what's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> like me and my husband was doing this tank the other night and he had no clue what was going on. He was just like, I don't know. <laughs> right. And he looks at the time 
and he couldn't believe that it was 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, go to bed. What are you doing? <laughs> right? I, I have the right to believe he was asleep because he heard me coughing. I was coughing, coughing, coughing. I'm in the laundry room, and he said, Mom, you okay? But I could tell he was asleep, right? Next thing you know, he's dressed. And I'm thinking, what the heck just happened? Like, something weird just happened, and I have the right to believe he was sleepwalking. You guys tell me. <laughs> but this is just some time for me to come in and be silly and tell you guys that I'm feeling better. We're going live today, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, making steak and potatoes. Can't wait to see you all there. And as always, God bless. Thank you all for watching. Good night.